Hello, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. I'm going to be real. This is a real message right here, you know. Christians, mainly. Mainly for Christians. Um, time message is says, if you're going to give your life to God, give your life to Him. See, here's the thing, you know. The world we live in is, system is all about, I tell y'all about the cursed trinity called me, myself, and I. You know what I'm saying? It's one of the most evil words that we can really utter or we can really believe concerning our existence, you know, our purpose of existence. When we say me, myself, and I, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, what we're doing is we're identifying that we are the reason of our existence. You don't realize you're doing that, but you really are. You're saying that, oh, because of me, I exist. You know, you could come, you more likely come to that place and how the world system is trying to help you to believe that you exist because of you. You know what I'm saying? And and, and now you exist for, because of you. Now, everything that is that you have is possessed to you belongs to you you know and this is what you work for by your own strength and your own ability you accomplished you know all the things that you fulfill in your life or you know or you're not accomplishing things that you build in your life you know but you think it's based upon you that is is what you are right now is because of what who you are you know and it's what say that's the game satan is playing that's the game satan's going to keep feeding in your mind he's going to keep feeding that you know you are your own there's nothing everybody nobody else can do about what your life is your life you can do what you want to do with it you know that kind of idea but the problem is Christians, you know, that did this promise to God in in their salvation, you know, when they wanted to, they, they, they made a promise that they will give their life to God, you know, and, and it's like you made a promise because the thing is you cannot really give your life to God, you know. You can't like, hey, here, God, my life. See you later. No, that's not how it works. You know, it's, you know, it's a every day you put God in your process. Hello, how you doing? You, you, you give God a process of your everyday, you know, time. Like you spend time, talk to Him, pray. Lord, I love you. How you doing up in heaven? You doing okay? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, spend time with Him. Uh, uh, read the Word. Uh, study the Word. Find somebody that you know. Know the word of God, share the word of God with them. Um, you, you, you engage in the things of God. Listen to gospel music. Uh, uh, I'm not gospel songs. You know, just it's gospel music kind of thing. It's crazy, but anyway, um, you do everything what it takes to give your life to God. You know, and the funny thing is, a lot of people, you know. Give me, give me, you know, they look at me weird, you know, and see me, of course, a Jesus freak to the crown of my head and so to my feet, how I does it. But here's the thing. They look at me funny and say, well, Mac, you know, you, 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 every post you put on there is all about God, all about Jesus, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I, don't you think you shouldn't, you know, be so much posting about God and Jesus, you know? Hmm. Well, it says on Facebook, it says, speak what's on your mind. Um, um, Romans 12, 1 and 2. I presented my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, you know, unto God. You know, I, I, be not, I did not conform to this world, but my, I was my transformed by the renewing of my mind. And now I have a new mind. That is about, you know, Jesus Christ. I'm going to share the things of Jesus Christ and what Jesus Christ is all about. You know what I'm saying? You know, in the 
because I, you know, gave God my time of understanding and learning his word little by little. It, you know, became a more a lot. You know what I'm saying? I started, you know, developing a desire towards him. That's why I, you know, minister the things of God and do whatever he tell me to do, you know, and love it, you know. Even though that is kind of crazy, it's nuts, you know. Uh, I did some crazy stuff, you know, to be doing what I'm doing right now, you know. But, you know, for, it's for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ that, you know, I do this for, you know. And I'm not going to do this, you know, just to do it, you know. But that, to me, that's what I think the world, living for the world is. But anyway, but I gave my time. I, you know, I, the song says, take a little time to, to you know, take a little time right there and thank you lord but the thing is we're supposed to be more likely because we're we're giving our life we're supposed to be taking our life and occupying you know at least three minutes of prayer you know at least you know something giving god something you know in the little of the day i mean something you know in a consistent basis and the more we give in a consistent basis you know what you know he give us the more we start becoming more like him and the thing is you know that's what it's all about becoming more like him and that's what i work towards i'm working towards yes mac fall stumble make mistakes yes i do i do and guess what i understand that the that i'm on the path of righteousness not on the path of wickedness but the thing is that's what the thing and i keep on going and keep on going and keep on going and you know and that's what i do for the sake of the gospel of jesus christ not for my sake you know uh not for Mac's sake no if it was me i won't be doing it i will be out there in the world you know in the club like i said in some girl house or you know some you know doing smoking out somewhere you know i will be you know out there you know all blast because you know i know if i whatever i'm going to do i'm going to be full blast about it if i'm going to be in the world i'm going to be full blast about that if i'm going to be for the church i'm going to be full blast about that you know and that's what's up you know but hey i understood and got the revelation realized that god is you know more important you know he revealed himself to me he revealed the reality of his word to me and his truth that I, you know, can't help but surrender to truth of a reality that's real, you know. That he I established a real relationship with him. I developed with him. And he starts showing me how real he is in the world in a simple manner that I present to you on Facebook or on YouTube. But, you know, the thing is we got to learn and understand that if we promise God that we're going to give his life to him, Let's just give him his life. But I'm going to tell you this. The only way you can truly give your life to God is by faith. No, not by your carnal mind. Because your carnal mind is going to say it's about me, myself, and I. Oh, yeah. But, you know, that's what your carnal mind is going to do. But it's, we are give our life by faith. By, you know, little things we do by faith. The more we do things by faith, you know what I'm saying, the more we can give our life to, to Christ. You know what I'm saying? And 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 little by little, yes, we're going to make mistakes. That's what grace is for. Mistakes, grace, bam. You know what I'm saying? But just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. In spite of, you know, the resistance that God is going to be there with him. That's what the cross is all about when Jesus got beaten. He showed us that you know i can take this resistance so whatever wrong thing you did whatever bad thing you're doing whatever you're struggling with i can take it on it i can take it on that's what the cross is trying to tell you he can take on any sin that we can that comes inside our life and we can go through the process and make it and become transformed in the image and the likeness of god if we stay faithful and committed to the direction that we're ahead of. that's what really that's what the cross is trying to tell us you know but i hope that you know you fulfill your promise 
of giving your life to God and give your life to God. That God will, you know, do something great with it. But if you don't give your life to God and try to keep it from Him, then you're not going to really accomplish anything really great in life. You know, you're going to, you know, you're going to get this temporal world. You know, the world that's, the Bible says, uh, First Peter talks about it shall be in fervent heat. You know, it will perish, you know, it will pass away, you know. But just telling you the truth, and I hope you understand what I'm saying, and I hope you get it, right? To God be the glory here forever, ever. Jesus' name, amen.